Hey there, it's the fine line between stupid and clever, and I'm gonna to talk to you today about some cool things I learned during some projects about how to make graphics on wood in terms of logos, and uh, particularly headstock logos on guitars, like this one. Oh, I should turn it this way. So, in the span of doing a couple of projects, I did my own research on how to print out graphics and epoxy them to wooden objects and some other objects as well. Um, take a few minutes. I hope you learned something from it and learn a tip or two. I'm not going to tell you my name because you don't care and I'm not going to ask you to subscribe because it's not about that. It's just about having fun and passing on good information. Leave me some comments if you like. Enjoy the video. So I purchased this uh, graphic design rice paper material from a graphic design warehouse for about uh, 12 bucks. I got this big roll of it and it's enough uh, of a of rice paper where you could do an entire graphic of a surfboard on it. And that's what this stuff is predominantly made for. But if you cut out about an 11 and a half uh, size piece and uh, tape it to a piece of paper to piggyback it with a regular piece of paper, um, it's too thin to run through a printer by itself, but when you piggyback it, then you can take it to an inkjet printer, print out your logo on this, and then when uh, placed on your piece of work uh, with an epoxy, the uh, rice paper completely disappear disappears and gives you your graphic. So that's what we're testing out. So here's my uh, graphic logo on the computer, and here it is transferred onto the rice paper. That is then ready to be epoxied down on my hydrofoil board project. I've also made a few uh, smaller logos that I'm going to try to put on the headstocks of some of the guitar projects I've done for my uh, YouTube channel. And Woody's the name of my hydrofoil uh, board project that's going to go on there as well. Now your choice of epoxy for putting on logos is going to be pretty important in that you get an epoxy that clear, that dries completely clear. Um, I use this West System product uh, for years uh, building uh, kayaks and canoes and boats with fiberglass and uh, you have to go looking for it but you can find this 207 hardener that goes with West System resin that uh, it dries completely clear. The other typical hardeners that they have like the 206 that's sometimes available in the hardware store will cure with a uh, pigment to it. It'll be it'll darken pretty badly. So um, for a test piece I'm going to take one of my logos and I'm going to mix up a teensy weensy bit of uh, resin and the 207 hardener and see how the uh, application on the rice paper works. Okay, so I've got a test piece of wood with a, a chopped up logo with rice paper just to see how the epoxy looks on it. And I've got set up a headstock of one of my logos uh, on my acoustic sonic guitar. And then I've got a second headstock set up over here on my resonator. Um, with how I've laid out uh, the logos to go. That's because once I mix up my tiny little bit of epoxy, um, I should have plenty of epoxy to do all three. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna add my three to one, one to three of my uh, hardener into my epoxy, like that. All right, so that's mixed up pretty good. I think I won't waste any, so I'm gonna try and scrape off with a one of my daughter's paintbrushes. Sorry, honey. I'll get you more. And we'll just uh, apply this and see how it looks. The idea is that the epoxy is gonna soak right through the rice paper. And it is, and I'm seeing the wood grain pop through pretty easily. Now, once you mix the um, epoxy and the resin, or the hardener and the resin, you've got a limited amount of work time with the stuff. But for this kind of application, you should have all the time in the world. And I think that's gonna look pretty cool. Um, I wanna kinda keep the spread of the epoxy limited because it is going to have a high gloss appearance to it and these headstocks are pretty flat although the next time I change the strings on the guitar I could always put a layer of epoxy on it just as a high or even a polyurethane glossy finish over it if it looks like the 
logos are standing out too much. And there you go. I don't know how well you can see this, but the rice paper completely disappears in there. You can see where I've placed the epoxy, but I think that's going to work out well. Oh, that's going to look really good. That came out nicely. Let's see how the yin yang logo goes. Let's go ahead. A little dabble, do you? Does not take much. I would experiment with epoxies too because some epoxies are going to be more viscous than others and uh, that's going to make it harder to apply with a paintbrush. This um, tends to run pretty thin. Wicked. It's kind of subtle. The, the colors don't pop really dramatically, but they're kind of muted, but the lettering comes out really well, the black lettering colors might not be as good but I like it my new headstock not bad I think I'll do my other guitar with it I feel like Bob Ross right now there's no mistakes it's a happy little logo isn't that nice may he rest in peace Bob Ross is American treasure all right I don't even know if Bob Ross was American I only assume. And once you got to kind of anchor it down a little bit, let the epoxy soak into the rice paper before it sticks. Otherwise, when you start moving it around, it wants to roll around on you. This is just three milliliters of epoxy and one milliliter of hardener. So it's just a tiny amount and I've got plenty to work with. You just got to be kind of fast about it. Cool. What is going on down here? Logos, my dear. Why not? Mm -hmm. I got to put a logo on your guitar, too. So here's a example of using the rice paper for a name for my hydrofoil boat made out of wood. That then is going to be covered up with fiberglass. So this is my um, hydrofoil board that I'm building out of cedar strips. And I've got my printed cool logo that I'm gonna put somewhere up in this area to make kind of like a cool surfboard logo. Um, so there will be a layer of epoxy gluing this down to the wood, which will make it mostly transparent, and then a layer of fiberglass on top of it. So I'll show what that looks like. Here's what I really like about using this method is on wood, the color is semi-transparent and you can see the grain of the wood comes right through the logo. Um, so when this gets uh, fiberglassed underneath there, that's gonna look really cool. So I've now fiberglassed the whole top of the deck of the board here and you can see the logo coming through just as it did before, and that's now under an, a layer of six ounce fiberglass. Um, once I get the fill coat of epoxy on the fiberglass, then there'll be less of that waffly uh, texture to it, and it should be nice and smooth and pretty. So here's something that's really useful. I printed out photos of my kids in black and white on our laser jet printer, put them on the rice paper, and glued them to a mug for my wife for Christmas. Why? Because I'm cheap, and it's gratuitous, and it's a guaranteed win. So please don't tell her. Um, doesn't worry, she doesn't watch videos, so I'm not worried about her finding out that way. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and leave me a like or some comments. Let me know how it's going, and we'll see you next time. Stay safe. Merry Christmas.